Today we're talking with Van Gordon Souter, the former president of CBS News and Fox News. Van Gordon Souter is a native Ohioan and graduated from Ohio University in 1957. Thanks for joining me. 1957, you had to bring that up. Sorry, 1957, <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you. Uh, Half a century ago. <laughs> That's great. Well, listen, you've had a long and story, I won't say long and storied <laughs> career. I just no, added I, uh, fuel to the fire, didn't I? No, no, no. <laughs> but you've had a, a really exciting and storied career from advertising to getting your master's degree to uh, covering civil rights and also the riots, urban affairs, just a little bit of everything, and finally going to CBS News. But before we talk about that, tell me a little bit about your time in Ohio and where you grew up. Oh, I grew up in Middletown, Ohio, which uh, was a steel town and a very successful steel town. It has since fallen on very hard times. Uh, the steel business is gone and uh, what is left of the, of the industry there is quite mm -hmm. small and has gone through some rather contentious labor affairs. But I go back every year. It's my home. It's mm -hmm. where I have some kin. and. Mm -hmm and it's an important part of my makeup, as is Ohio University. Sure. Well, how did you decide to come to Ohio University? Well, I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> I think I, uh, I, I had a very undistinguished high school career, and I think Undistinguished? A, und totally okay. undistinguished. Okay. Uh, th that's yeah. a charitable way to put it, self-serving, quite frankly. And I think a, uh, a guidance director dispatched me over here, and I had a very undistinguished <laughs> time here great time. But you made it through. Well, I barely made it through. I ended up uh, failing or getting thrown out of the business school because I got F's in accounting and statistics, which were required for graduating with a undergraduate mm -hmm. business degree. And I went into the journalism school because I'd always enjoyed books and literature, didn't know a lot about journalism. And they sort of took me in and were incredibly generous and gracious mm -hmm. and encouraging. So what was Ohio University like in 1957? S uncomplicated. It was a, uh, there were only 6,000 students there. I was in something called uh, Johnson Dorm or Hall, where I had to walk up that incredible mm -hmm. flight of stairs a couple times a day. But it was uh, very collegial and congenial. <clears throat> and there was a lot of camaraderie. Mm -hmm. The journalism school had an interesting mix of people who were well motivated, and the faculty was highly engaged. The Ohio University Post team, I had a column at the Ohio University Post. And then I started a humor magazine here, which nearly got mm -hmm. me thrown out of the school. So what brings you back? Well, nostalgia, uh, appreciation, mm -hmm curiosity about the school and uh, I ran into some of the people in Los Angeles and hosted a dinner at my house for some uh, of the alumni of the school and they said come on back and I said you know it's better than most places I go to. <laughs> so what so, do you think about the university now after awe. all of these years? I'm in awe. It is um, when you come onto Richland Avenue where I used to live in a rooming house and see these large structures, you would say, my gosh, they have to have 60,000 students in this place. And then you go up the hill and you wander around the campus and the town and it really hasn't changed that dramatically and it's still a small, intimate, mm -hmm. congenial school. It's quite remarkable. Mm -hmm. 